What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? Praise one, love one, God only. That's right, Polo Go. Welcome to the channel where it's okay to let it go and let God take over. Yes, yes. Thank God for everything. Oh, yes. Thank you, God, for allowing me to see that you reveal everything that I need to see. But it's on your terms and on your timing and not on my terms and my timing. Welcome to the channel where it's okay to forgive others and forgive yourself. Welcome to the channel where I remind you that you are so worthy, that you are special, that you are one of a kind, that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. Oh, no, 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 you're not alone. You never have been. You never will be alone. Welcome to the channel where I remind you that as you continue to change, people will doubt you. People will bet against you. People will want to trip you. People will want to see you fall. People won't understand you, not at all. But through it all, through the thick and thin, through the fog, God is there. The Most High, the Source, the Universe, the Vortex, Emmanuel, Yahweh, Yahshua is there. Oh, yes. Waiting for you to open up your arms and tell Him, you know what? I don't understand what's going on. I'm doing the best that I can. I'm changing. I'm taking this, these steps to, to make forward movements and put forward progress. But I'm still being attacked and I don't understand why. And when you do that, he'll be there to guide you, to completely guide you. Yes, yes. Welcome to the channel where the healing process begins and continues. Yes, welcome to the channel where it's okay to be free. It's okay to wake up and smile. It's okay to decide to leave yesterday with yesterday and enjoy and embrace the moment of today and live in today and enjoy the power that comes with living in the moment of now. Oh, yes. Once again, praise one, love one, God only, Polo Go. And uh, I'm checking in with you as welfare check. And it's a beautiful opportunity for me to share with you, not what I do, but what God continues to do in my life and reveal to me on his terms, on his timing of how great he is. Oh, my goodness. And nothing that I'm going to share has to do with what I've done. Mm -mm, not at all. Because when I did it my way... <laughs> <laughs> it led me to misery and chaos and dark places, physical and in my mind, where I was paying a victim. Oh, no. So glory to God before I continue. Thank you, Father God. And I'm here to remind you that it's all a test. It's all a test, you guys. Oh, yes, it is. It's all a test. And depending on how you pass this current test, we'll allow you to go ahead and move forward to the next test. But it's all a test. It's all a test to see how serious I am. It's all a test to see how focused I really am. It's all a test to see how to prove to myself and to the Most High if I am really serious about enjoying my life. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, today I'm going to talk about why rush. Why rush? And my description, or to elaborate on that, is if I have something that I love and enjoy, then I must take care of it. If I have something that I love and enjoy, then I must take care of it. And before I do continue, I'd like to give three quick shout outs. Uh, shout out to G Papa 95, Gabriel Treviso, keep going champ, very proud of you. My business partner, my associate, my colleague, very proud of you, man. That's right, let's face what we need to face and man up so we can continue to move forward and create what we need to create through and with God, something so beautiful and amazing, yes. The next brother of mine that I wanna go ahead and give a shout out to is Eric Rush, R-U-S-H, yes. He's a musician and he's also a writer. He's published some good stuff. Check him out on amazon.com, Eric Rush. He published some, some good notebooks that you might be able to find handy to keep some notes, or just to use them as you, as you see, please, you know, maybe some passwords and stuff like that. He's coming up with brilliant ideas. And he's also going through his adversities and challenges, tests, and he's conquering them. Oh, yes. And the last person I want to shout out to is Doña Olga. How you doing? My, my prayer warrior. My guerrera de Dios. How you doing? Chat. God's soldier. Oh, man. Doña Olga, we got this up prepared. We're going to be okay. It's declared and I claim it. 
and I breathe this upon you guys, the three people that I, Gabriel, Eric Rush, and Doña Olga, that we got this. We got on our side, nothing can stop us. Stop us. And God is for us, who can be against us? No one. And I breathe this for all of my brothers and sisters that are listening to me right now. Whatever you're going through, we got this. Oh yes, we got this. We are blessed and unstoppable. And Doña Olga, you were essential in my spiritual growth. Back in 2007, you took me to Calvary Chapel so I could meet Raul Reese and listen to him. And you took me when I, would, when I needed it. And that was what was revealed to me at that moment in time. When I was able to see clearly and I didn't have to use a cane and I was able to drive, but I wasn't driving a car. I was driving people insane all around me because I was living in a, in a rush. I was living life in a rush and I wasn't appreciating and loving what I have and I wasn't taking care of it, which was my body, my mind, my spirit, all the way to the point where I use a cane now and I'm legally blind, you guys, okay? But it's all good because this is a gift. And Doña Olga, you were essential in my growth and that's when I started coming back. And now I saw you yesterday and now it's reciprocal and now I pray for you and your family and I want to remind you that we're okay. We're going to be all right. We just got to let go and let God. And God will reveal to us on his term and on his time what needs to be done. And it's a beautiful process. Is it hard? Yes, it is. Is it fun? Yes, it is. Is it beautiful? Yes, it is. Because as long as we stay focused and we don't lean on our understanding, then God will reveal to us exactly what needs to be done. And his way is better. So once again, you guys, why rush? Why rush? If I rush, I don't love and appreciate what I have and I don't take care of it and make it last. I can, I can talk about that from personal experience. I didn't appreciate my body, so I became legally blind. I can no longer drive a car, but I'm gonna work my ass off and make the changes right here in my mind that I need and become the best version of myself on a daily basis, be 10% better today than I was yesterday and live in my maximum potential by depending on God and not on me and he will guide me and he will reveal to me on his terms and on his time what I need to do and using my new vision to see things in a different way where instead of rushing, I'm gonna enjoy the pain. I'm gonna enjoy the long suffering. I am gonna do that. Even though sometimes I'm like, man, what is going on? But I don't question it because I know that this too shall pass because it has to pass because my God is awesome. My God is the God of all gods. He is so powerful and grateful and his, his plan is way better than my plan. Oh yes. So I'm not gonna rush and now I'm gonna appreciate what I have. I'm gonna love it and I'm gonna take care of it and make it last. And that's my mind, my freedom, my joy, my, my well-being, my high spirits, my peace, my humbleness, my acceptance of myself and others, my true forgiveness of myself and others. Oh yes, and I'm not gonna rush anymore. And I'm going to share with you guys that things do happen and they continue to happen in my life. And all they are is adversities and challenges. But really, I call them tests as well, but really they're blessings and miracles disguised as tests and challenges and adversities and trials. And once again, like gold, you're going to, you're going to try gold to see if it's really true. What do they do? They, they wash it in acid. So us as humans, hopefully you don't wash yourself in acid because acid, <laughs> that would hurt. But we are tried in fire with test, with test that sometimes we don't understand because I'm, I'm leaning on my understanding, right? How I used to think before and I'm rushing into everything and I was rushing then I was destroying what I had and I wasn't taking care of it and appreciating and then I was living a me, me, me world. But once I changed that, then I start to realize don't rush. Once they gave me a cane, there's no way I could run. Man. There's no way, <laughs> there's no way I could drive. If I drive, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna hurt somebody. Then what, I'm just thinking about me? I'm not accepting that I can't drive? I'm not accepting that? Oh no, 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 I gotta live with acceptance, right? Okay, so like I said, things do happen and it happened to me and that's the only way I can share with you guys. Things where I'm being tested, where I'm, where I'm standing firm with God, even though it, all hell breaks loose all around me. And they're trying to blame me for stuff. They're trying to put me down. They're trying to tell me that I'm crazy and that I've changed and, and that I'm no good and I'm a jerk. And when I'm being attacked and, and they're telling me this, it could be loved ones, you guys. 
It could be the people really, really close to you and expect it because that's it's how it is. They judge my Lord and Savior, Lord and Lord Jesus Christ, his own family. Who do you think you are? You're just a carpenter from Nazarene. What did he have to do? He had to bounce, go somewhere else. And he ended up reaching the whole world with his 12 disciples, his, his soldiers, his gangsters of God. That's how I see it, you guys. Because you've got to be tough. you got to be a gangster. you got to be a soldier, prayer warrior, prayer soldier to stand firm when all break hell's loose. When all hell breaks loose, excuse me, you know what I mean? But what I like is that I can share with you that <sighs> when they're telling me that I'm crazy, that I'm, I'm, I'm no good, that there's something wrong with me because I'm being firm, I'm being stout, I'm being serious about my life, I'm being serious about my salvation, I'm not playing no games. And when, when, you bump up t when you're surrounded by people that they're still stuck in the past, and they're full of drama and you're not and you want to create solutions and they want to create problems they look at you weird they're gonna do that expect it you guys okay expect it but you know what I like is then God reveals and he will reveal it to myself and to those around you on his terms and on his timing and when it was revealed I'm like man thank you God thank you God because the only thing I can say at the end of the day is you've changed Marco You've changed, Polo. You've changed, Marco Polo. Well, duh, we're supposed to change. Shoot, I really took 2020 as a time to really look deep inside of myself and change and make the changes necessary to grow. But I've been starting this since July 2011 near my birthday uh, weekend. And guess what? This weekend is my birthday. Wow, can that be a coincidence? That back in 2011, July 10th, um, that weekend, all hell broke loose, but it was my fault, and I take res full responsibility of all my actions. Now, 2011, 10, now we're in 2021, 10 years later, around my birthday weekend again, and this whole couple of weeks, things, hell broke loose, but I'm thinking different, and they're still trying to tell me that, hey, you're, 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 you're wrong. Why do you act like that? I'm just being serious. I'm serious about I'm, I'm appreciating what, about, what I have and I'm taking care of it so I can make it last. Because I'm in a fight of my life and my health, my wealth, and peace of mind, my joy, my well-being. My soul is on the line. And there's nothing and no one that's going to stop me, including myself. So if I revert and go back, go back to my old way of thinking, then I'll, 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 I'll hit a wall. And I won't break that wall. I'll hit a mountain. I won't, I, won't, I won't be able to break down that mountain. And that's not what it's all about. But instead, I lean on God. And he walks me and he guides me. And then he reveals it to me, to me exactly what's going on. He reveals to me that, hey, son, you're doing good. I just want to make sure that you're being honest and you're, and you're really being solid. And you're doing good. And it's amazing, you guys. And this is what I wish and pray upon on you guys. All on you guys. Now, I'm going to end with this. Okay, you guys? I'm going to end with this. Okay, so they give you prescription lenses, right? Prescription glasses, right? And you go get your examination, your eyes, and your prescription is whatever, whatever. Not 2020, but it's whatever, whatever. I don't know what those numbers are, right? Then they give you a pair of glasses and you wear them on. Well, I didn't wear glasses, but we'll say my, my prescription, the way I used to see things, my vision for 35 years was no good. It's poor me, oh, poor me, and I want to cause pain to everybody and want to hold resentments and, and I want to live with ego and be proud. And, 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 and I steered away from God. I hid away from God. I denied, I denied God. I didn't, want, I didn't want nothing to do with God, right? Okay, then at the age of 30, so what happens if you stay like that? You don't see things right. You don't see things right. Then what happened to me? At the age of 35, it was a blessing. They told me I'm legally blind. Cirrhosis of the liver kidneys both kidneys six to seven times the normal size diabetes so i had a, i had that was a moment where i had to change my life and that was my crisis remember in a crisis that's when change comes so that's when i took the decision to start changing my life then in 2012 i took it to the next level made another change then in 2013 I took it to the next level and i'm continuously taking it to the next level okay and then now the way I see things is different because the physical sight they say I lack isn't compared to the vision that I have. And the vision I have now, I see things different, more spiritual. I see more things like, no, nah, that's not good, you guys. No, nah, I don't want that, you guys. 
No, that's not going to happen, you guys. No, I'm okay, you guys. What are you doing? Nope, I don't want it. Sometimes with my words or sometimes with my actions where I just walk away. I walk away. I don't want none of this. And what? They still say, you're wrong, Polo. You've changed, Polo, where I'm supposed to change, man. This person that I am right now got me this far. And this time next year, I can't be this person. I got to be someone else. Next level champ, okay? Now, what happens is I've changed my prescription, but many people around me and many people that I meet, they still have the same prescription that they've had for 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, 35 years, 30 years, 50 years. It doesn't matter. And they're still stuck on their old ways. But I cannot allow their way of seeing things to affect the way I see things because I've been blessed. I've been resurrected. I've rose from, from death, from the ashes like a phoenix. And I had to surrender and I was broken. And I told God, take me, make me, build me, mold me as you see fit, guide me. So once again, I don't know where I'm going. All I know is that I'm following you, Father God. And as long as I'm following you, God, I don't need to worry about where I'm going because I'm following you, God. And when I don't understand what's happening all around me or within me, what I do understand is that I love you, I trust you, I need you, I want you, take me, make me, build me, mold me, guide me as you see fit. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And through and with God, I'm going to create something so huge and so big just to glorify you, Father God, for how amazing you are. And that's why I'm here. Praise one, love one, God only. Let's get it done, you guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go, champs. Let's go, champs. Let's go, champs. Knock it out. Keep going, champs. Never give up.